Hey, sixth grade readers. Today's book talk is for a book called Conspiracy 365 January by Gabrielle Lord. And this is actually the first book in a series of 12. Uh, she's written one book for each day or each month of the year. Um, and so let me give you a little taste of what this book is, this series is all about. Um, it is a serial series, meaning you do have to read them in order, uh, chronological order here. So uh, reading them out of order, month order, would be very confusing because each book um, ends on a slight cliffhanger that is then picked up in the preceding book. So uh, just so you're aware of that. Um, and I'm going to read a short selection from the book and then a little bit of my thinking afterwards. So my name is Callum Ormond. I'm 15 and I'm a hunted fugitive. Prologue, December 31st. New Year's Eve, Flood Street, Richmond, 1125 a.m. It was the wild, billowing black cloak streaming behind the menacing figure that first caught my eye. I was walking home from the park when the sight of it stopped me in my tracks. Something or someone was staggering up my street. The Grim Reaper? I had been out with Boggs kicking around the ball and was heading back home to help pack the car for what Mum was calling the usual family New Year's shenanigans up the coast at Treachery Bay. Poor Boggs was staying at home with his mum and his gran. They'd probably struggle to stay awake watching the 9 o'clock fireworks on TV. My night was going to be tough, but at least we'd be away from it, out on the boat. The commotion down the road came closer. As the swooping shape neared, I saw that it was a muttering, gray-looking man. He was wearing a dark bathrobe and had a weird, lopsided run, as if he was off balance and dizzy. I was just about to cross the road to avoid him, when I made out what he was saying. With a rush of fear, I realized it was me he was coming after. Cow! He screamed. Callum Ormond! He stumbled towards me, his wild eyes almost bursting from their sockets. He half limped, half ran, his flailing arms reaching out in front of him. A siren wailed in the distance, and within seconds an ambulance with flashing lights appeared at the other end of my street. He was driving towards us, fast. The crazy man was almost on top of me. I could smell his foul, musty breath. Keep away from it, Callum, he sputtered as drool fell from his gaping mouth. They killed your father. They're killing me. My heart froze in my chest. Who was this guy? Did he mean the virus? The mention of my dad carried a wave of pain so huge it sent my mind spinning. The man lunged at me. Who are you? I shouted, pushing him off. What are you talking about? How did you know my dad? The ambulance screeched to a halt next to us, and before the man could grab me again, two paramedics jumped out. The first tackled him while the second pulled something out of his bag. The madman on the ground clawed desperately at my feet. Who are you? I shouted again. Nobody killed my dad. He was sick. Leave this to us, young man, said the first paramedic, who was gruff and built like a wrestler. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You need to get out of the way. Pinned down, the man was trapped. But as the second paramedic forced an injection into his wasted arm, he managed to twist toward me. His face contorted. The veins in his neck pulsed and protruded. He stared into my eyes. The Ormond singularity, he said between gasps of breath. Don't let it be the death of you too, boy. Get out. Get away. Hide and lay low until midnight December 31st of next year. You don't know what you're up against. Listen to me, please. 365 days, Cal. You have 365 days. And then he was gone. Just as quickly as the mysterious man arrived, he was gone, leaving Cal reeling with questions and fear. Feelings that Cal wasn't able um, and won't be able to escape in this fast-paced, thrilling mystery story by Gabrielle Lord. Cal is put in the middle of a conspiracy he never knew existed. And as he tries to escape it, he gets pulled deeper and deeper in until he becomes the next one being hunted. But for what? Who's after him? Twist after surprising twist will leave you on the edge of your seat, too, while trying to figure out who can be trusted and who is the wolf in sheep's clothing. And as the pages count down from one, or count down to number one, you feel the suspense and tension rise in the serial series that each spans a month in Cal's life as he tries to unlock the mysteries of his father's death and the conspiracy that seems to be following. So this is a great series. Like I said, um, it does kind of count down. So the very first page um, of book one is page 185. Um, and so you almost feel that ticking clock as you turn each page, uh, reading down to page number one, which actually ends the book. So that's a really cool thing that the author does. Um, the other interesting thing I might mention um, is that Gabrielle Lord is an Australian author. So some of her vocabulary might be slightly different than what we're, um, what we find to be normal as Americans, um, but uh, it doesn't really take away from the story, kind of adds to it. Um, just a definitely a great thrilling read. 
Um, if you like action, suspense, uh, this is definitely, and mystery too, like this is definitely the book uh, series for you. Uh, so definitely check out Conspiracy 365 January and all the books that follow. Happy reading!